I'm Ed Chosky. I'm the director of the MS program in Organization Learning and Human Resource Development at St. John Fisher College in Rochester, New York. And I'm delighted to have the opportunity to share with you various components of our graduate program. Our program is designed for the working professional that is either working in human resources, human resource development, or is a manager, a leader, looking to improve the human resource development knowledge and skill level. Managers and leaders spend over 50% of their time on subjects around human resource development. As the economy has worsened, and as we're asking people to do more with less, this is a degree that has helped managers become more effective. Every day, technology changes. But what doesn't change? The thing that doesn't change is the human being who goes to work on a daily basis and does a job. What are they looking to do with their career? What level do they want to achieve? What amount of money would they like to make? Do they want to manage people? Do they want to be an individual contributor? What do they want to do? At the point of retirement and you look back, the sad day is when a person feels they haven't achieved what they set out to achieve. That's why we encourage people before they select a master's program to be very sure on their career path. And where do they want this to take them? When you can go through that kind of a thought process and then make a decision on graduate school, chances are there will be a correlation to your success and to you achieving what you set out to do. The federal government and the Bureau of Labor Statistics has said that this field is going to grow by 22% in the year 2018. So those positions could be in training and development, they could be in organization development, or they could be in career planning. And our program revolves around those three components. It is a credential that clearly will have payback. Our program consists of 33 credit hours. It's a weekend college, Friday evening, all day Saturday, every other weekend for 20 months. When you start in September, 20 months later, you graduate with the same group of people that you started with. And each of the classes that you take, you have the same group of people in the respective classes. Does that get boring? Trust me, it does not. Because in all of those classes, you're constantly changing subjects and you're changing work groups depending upon your background and skill level in your current professional life. Probably need to plan on anywhere from five to eight hours a week of work comprised of reading, papers, analyzing various companies from a human resource development perspective. There are work group sessions that are outside of the classroom that happen at your convenience and however you plan that out with your fellow students. We ask you to go to four seminars or workshops per year. We invite outside experts on subjects that are very relative to today's workplace. What are the rules of the game? What are the key uncertainties? How do I want to position myself within the organization? What suddenly emerges that we weren't expecting? The real question is, who does the CEO talk to? Let's really do a deep dive into the source challenge. The key thing that we have three or four times a year is graduate information sessions that are in the evening. They begin at five. They're here on the St. John Fisher campus. You have an opportunity to hear from the director of graduate admissions about the overall graduate school here at St. John Fisher College. You then meet with the director of the respective program. So in our case, you would meet with me 
along with prospective students who are there and interested in the MS program. You also have the opportunity to talk to people about financial aid, about the registration process. So the graduate information sessions are critical and very informative. Our website is very informative. It's sjfc.edu. And then you would go into the graduate program section. Then inside the graduate program, the MS in Organization Learning and Human Resource Development is within the Bittner School of Business. An overview of the program, all of the courses are listed, the course descriptions, credit hours, the webinars and workshops are explained, the objectives of the program and what impact it will have on your knowledge, skills and attributes. So it's very informative and will answer, hopefully, most of your questions. But if it doesn't, we have graduate admissions folks who are ready, willing and able to answer your questions and myself. The other thing we do is encourage you to go to a class. And frankly, what I encourage people to do is to go to two different classes, one possibly Friday night or two Friday night or two on Saturday, whatever fits your schedule. Sit through an entire class or a portion of the class and talk to the students when they're on break and get a, a feeling of what they think of the program and what they expect the program will do for them. Good people in the worst economies always get a job. So the reality is the new economy is different than the old economy, but there are many things that are absolutely the same. What a master's degree does for you, it gives you a competitive advantage. There is a opportunity out there somewhere if you in fact chose to pursue and do something different than you're currently doing. You can't use the traditional learning from experience. You've got to be learning in the moment. You've got to be always learning in the moment.